I joined the World Federation because of the very motto of the World Federation, we exist to serve, um, serving humanity, serving um, the community, and serving, serving the wider uh, Ummah, uh, who are the three core drivers of me um, joining the institution or supporting the institution um, throughout the years. the World Federation can do far more than what it's doing now. Um, the World Federation has reached a stage where it started with focusing on the core values, the three core values of the institution. One is to propagate the, uh, the madhab of the Ahlul Bayt. Number two is to educate uh, the communities. And three is to uh, serve humanity through humanitarian services. I think this is a unique combination where you have been and dunya integrated um, and we have now a structure, we have a good will, we have a process, and now we need to move to the next level of maturity. I feel the WF can penetrate and do far more than what it is uh, beyond the Koja community. Uh, um, as we have been doing on the humanitarian side, I believe we can do that on the educational side, on the public side, on the madrasa side. And I think there's a lot of lessons that can be learned from the changing generational needs. So we are now moving to a millennial generation where the mindset is very different. So we need to evolve to, to reach out to them. Uh, so the best example that I can give you is the Who, Who is Hussein campaign that started here in Stanmore with a few years. Today, more than 70 countries, that message is going out. So WF, while this is institutional and it has that reach, but it needs to evolve to the next level where it can expand its services and it's taken by other institutions as an embodiment in the role model. Define what is tablik. Uh, tablik can be explicit, tablik can be implicit. I think the key thing is that it is our core value to propagate the mission of the Ahlul Bayt. Um, the question really is how do you do it in today's context and age? Uh, you know, we have been publishing books, we have been publishing literature, uh, we have been reaching out to the media, and now is the, is the, is the time for digitalization of services. So the same tablik and the same mission can be repackaged to reach out to the far, far wider audience, and this is the young generation. So I think when you're talking of focus in the league, I believe it's reaching out to that younger generation that will continue the values of Ahlul Bayt going forward. Uh, that is the way I see it. Yeah, the curriculum that is now almost completed and rolled out is a game changer. If you were to ask me that on the day of judgment, if the office bearers were asked by Allah, what have you done? If they just respond by saying that we have rolled out Tarbiyah, I think that is salvation. Every child will benefit from Tarbiyah. It is an evolution in the entire mindset of the child that will move towards maturity. If we can be successful in the rollout, in the training, in the pedagogy, in the teaching guides, in the activities, in the integration, in, in making sure the kids inter, uh, get involved and enjoy learning the Islam, I think we can see a bright future for the community.